Just hours ago, the grandmother of kidnapped teenager Hannah Anderson spoke in depth for the first time about what it was like to be thrown into the national spotlight following the tragic murders of her daughter and grandson. You may remember they were killed by James DiMaggio before he took Hannah to Idaho, triggering a multi-state Amber Alert. 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina is live in Point Loma with what Sarah Britt says was the hardest part to deal with once Hannah was home safely. Steve. Kim, it's been seven months since the kidnapping of the teenager and the murder of her mother and younger brother. Tonight, her grandmother here at the university told uh, journalists about the tragedy that continues to haunt them. Hannah Anderson was kidnapped last summer by a longtime family friend they called Uncle Jim. James DiMaggio killed Hannah's mother and younger brother Ethan, then was shot to death himself by FBI sharpshooters in the Idaho wilderness. Hannah was rescued but quickly became a victim of backlash, criticized for not showing proper grief. You see people on the news grieving and you think you know how they feel. You have no clue. Sarah Britt talked about the pressure on the teenager after the ordeal, and how she dealt with it. Social network, and in some cases it got her in trouble because she wanted to tell her story. Mrs. Britt spoke of the pain when they learned secondhand the medical examiner's report on the brutality of the murders. We were sitting in our living room listening to the news, and Hannah heard about it at school, and that was really hard. It's hard. And Hannah remains foremost in their thoughts. So for us, it's hard to protect her. You know, how do you stop the media from jumping on the other side of it? Still, there's appreciation. Like I said, if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have our granddaughter. And one point remains. She was truly a victim and is a victim. And she said that Hannah is living with her dad and seeing therapists. She's also very proud of her granddaughter, getting a 4.0 grade point average and excelling in uh, dance club and uh, gymnastics. Live at Point Loma College, Steve Fiorina, 10 News.